I made an executive decision to move this chair so my shirt didn't blend into the wall. But my arms hurt already and now I have so many regrets. Oh my god. This week I am just a little exhausted and I wanted to just do a little sit down chat vlog like I used to. Like a lot of young adults and children and teenagers and people who are not fully functional adults yet, I did not know what I wanted to do with my life um, until I, you know, I still don't really know what I want to do with my life. You know the question, what do you want to do when you grow up that like every single person asks you until you're like 18 and then once you turn 18 they're like, what are you majoring in? What are you getting a career in? And then it's like you're just screwed if you don't have an answer at that point. Then you're just automatically labeled a failure. <laughs> That was heated. Since I was very little, I sort of got all of my ideas about what I wanted to be when I grew up from other people that I really quite admired. And when I say other people, I don't mean like real people. I mean like fictional characters, which I'm sure surprises absolutely no one that I would do a thing like this. I thought I would just kind of give you a little rundown of the timeline of Katie's career prospects based on fictional characters and or people she's never met. When I was very little, Hermione from Harry Potter had always been my very, 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 very favorite. I loved Hermione. I couldn't exactly tell everybody I wanted to be a witch when I grew up, at least probably not at the Catholic school that I went to at the time. Um, that would have been frowned upon. However, I developed this I want to be her mentality about Emma Watson. Um, which I still have to this day because that girl is amazing and she is inspirational and wonderful. So my very first career goal was, believe it or not, I wanted to be an actress really bad because I knew that's what Emma Watson was and in my head that was magic and she got to go to set and do magic and things like that. So that is, that is where that came from. I wanted to be an actress. As I got slightly older, I realized that, okay, wait a minute, I live in Wisconsin and I have no chance of being an actress. So then in my head, because for some reason this was more logical, I developed this weird man crush on David Heyman, who is the producer of the Harry Potter films. He got to like work with all these like actors that I really liked. So I decided I wanted to be a producer of movies, which, you know, for some reason made more sense than acting even though I still live in Wisconsin. I don't know where you're gonna produce movies in Wisconsin, Camshire, but you can try. Moving on from that, I realized, well, J.K. Rowling is the one who really brought this all together. Um, and J.K. Rowling is a writer. So probably around sixth or seventh grade, I realized I thought I wanted to be a writer. To the point that I joined the English academic team in high school because I thought for some reason that would help me become a better writer. It, it didn't, but, you know, it made me look like a huge nerd, which is obviously the end goal here. And then, towards the very end of high school, I was getting a little bit panicked because everyone was pressuring me to pick a major to, you know, go into college with, even though you do not have to do that. Don't do that. If you don't have something picked out, don't force something upon yourself. Uh, I would not recommend that. My next career goal came in the form of Gwen Stacy from Spider-Man. Like, the new Spider-Man. The one with Emma Stone in it. You know, in... For some reason, I talked myself into believing that I really, really liked science. And I decided I was gonna major in genetics. Because Gwen Stacy did it, and Gwen Stacy's cool, and people like Gwen Stacy, and she gets to date Andrew Garfield, so obviously... I should be a geneticist. Which, believe it or not, is the major I went into college with. I took horrible amounts of science courses my freshman year and totally tanked my GPA. I don't recommend doing that, just FYI. Freshman year of college was when the Lizzie Bennett Diaries came out. Now we're getting somewhere, people. Now we're getting somewhere. I realized I wanted to do what Lizzie did, um, which was mass communications. I ended up switching my major to communications, which was something that I didn't ever think I'd be able to major in because in my head communications meant you had to be able to speak in front of large crowds of people and have a very outgoing personality and be, you know, totally extroverted and that is not the case at all and I am so glad I came to my senses because I'm really, really liking what I'm doing right now. And it was also because of the Lizzie Bennet Diaries fandom aka all of my friends, that um, I realized that I'm actually, like, good at art? 
I knew I liked doing art, but I didn't realize how much I liked it. And I also didn't think I could ever make a career out of it because I didn't think I was as good as everyone else. And my friends kind of taught me otherwise. And that, my friends, is how I ended up at this weird crossroads of communications and graphic design. I happened to be watching this little show called Mad Men at the time, and I realized that, hey, that's a thing that combines those two things that you like. You should do that, Camp Sure. So I started, you know, researching advertising and advertising agencies and graphic design and just sort of that whole world and that's how I ended up getting an internship at an ad agency last summer and kind of like I realized that that's kind of the direction I want to go with my life. So anyway, that is your brief timeline of the career goals and prospects of Katie based on fictional characters, or I don't know, I already don't remember what I called it. Um, I hope you guys like this video, and if you have ever done anything similar to any of this, or if you have a career that you learned about based on somebody that you really admire, let me know, because I would like some confirmation that I'm maybe not the only person who does this to themselves. I will see you guys next week with another new video. Until then, bye!